Hello scholars and welcome back to another day of read aloud. I'm excited to start this video off with you by reviewing some of our vocabulary words. Some of these words you might already know and you're able to join in with me and others they might be a little bit new. So feel free to follow along and try your absolute best. So we could do that. Awesome, let's get started. The first word we're gonna be going over today, and remember these are all of our story elements that we're gonna be listening for as we read um, our story together today. The first word is setting. The word is, the word is, yes, setting. Setting is, get ready, go. Setting is where and when the story takes place. Say one more time. Good, setting is, get ready, go. Setting is where and when the story takes place. Nice work, I knew you guys already knew that one. Characters are, get ready, go. Characters are the people, animals, or things acting in a story. Good. Next one, we're gonna do that one one more time. Characters are, get ready, go. Characters are the people, animals, or things acting in a story. Give yourself two pats on the back. Awesome work so far. We're on to problem, the word is, the word is, Good, I'm gonna do problem first, but if you think you know it, feel free to follow along. Problem is something that the character wants or needs but cannot have. Again, problem is, get ready, go. Problem is something that the character wants or needs but cannot have. Good, so it becomes a problem and our thumbs go down, problem. Next one, the word is solution. The word is, the word is, yeah. Solution is how the problem is solved. My thumbs go down for problem like, oh, there's a problem. Solution is how the problem is solved. My thumbs go back up because it's solved and it's fixed. Solution is how the problem is solved. Get ready, go. Solution is how the problem is solved. Nice work. We're going to go to the next one. The word is attempt. The word is? The word is? Yes, the word is attempt. An attempt is how a character tries to solve the problem, but it doesn't work. So they're trying to fix it, but attempts to resolve never work. They never, they never, yeah, they never work. So an attempt is when you try something, but it doesn't work. An attempt is when you try something, but it doesn't work. Good job. And the last one we're going to review today is mental state. The words are, the words are, yeah, mental state. Character mental state is what the character is thinking and feeling. My fingers come up to my brain because I know thinking happens in our brains. Character mental state is what the character is thinking and feeling. My hands go over my heart for my feelings. Character mental state is what the character is thinking and feeling. Good. Let's get ready to jump into our story today. So for our story today, the title is Gregory the Terrible Eater. I'm excited to start this book with you all today and continue using this book to help us deeper understand and develop our understanding of S-T-O-R-Y, all of our story elements, like some of the words we just reviewed, like setting and characters, problem, how the character tried to solve their problem, and the solution. Those are all things that we're gonna be thinking about as we read the book together. Today is super special because you're actually gonna try to follow along with me and you'll see the whole picture of the book as well as all the fun pictures today as we read about the terrible eater, Mr. Gregory right there. Goats are one of my favorite animals and I actually had goats when I was a little girl, so I'm excited to jump right in. Say we can do it. Gregory the Terrible Eater by Mitchell Sharma. Once there was a goat named Gregory. Gregory liked to jump from rock to rock, kick his legs into the air, and butt his head against walls. I'm an average goat, said Gregory. But Gregory was not an average goat. Gregory was a terrible eater. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure what terrible eater means, so I'm gonna keep reading to try to figure it out. Every time he sat down to eat with his mother and father, he knew he was in for trouble. Would you like a tin can, Gregory? Asked Mother Goat. No, thanks, said Gregory. How about a nice box, a piece of rug, and a bottle cap? Asked Father Goat. Bah, said Gregory unhappily. Well, I think this is a meal fit for a goat, said Mother Goat as she chewed on an old shoe. It certainly is, said Father Goat as he ate a shirt, buttons, and all. I don't know why you're such a fussy eater, Gregory. I'm not 
fussy, said Gregory. I just want fruits, vegetables, eggs, fish, bread, and butter. Good stuff like that. Mother Goat stopped eating the shoe. Now what kind of food is that, Gregory, she said. It's what I like, said Gregory. It's revolting, said Father Goat. Sorry, it's revolting means disgusting. It's revolting, said Father Goat. He wiped his mouth with his napkin. After Gregory was excused from the table, Father Goat said, Gregory is such a terrible eater. I wonder what's wrong with him, said Mother Goat. Mother and Father Goat ate their evening newspaper in silence. The next morning, Mother and Father Goat were enjoying a pair of pants and a coat for breakfast. Gregory came to the table. Good morning, Gregory, said Father and Mother Goat. Good morning, said Gregory. May I have some orange juice, cereal, and bananas for breakfast, please? Oh, no, Mother Goat said. Do have some of this nice, nice coat. Take a bite out of these pants, said Father Goat. Bah! said Gregory, and he left the table. Father Goat threw down his napkin. That does it, he said. Gregory just isn't eating right. We must take him to the doctor. Father and Mother Goat took Gregory to the doctor. Dr. Ram was munching on a few pieces of cardboard. What seems to be the trouble, he asked. Gregory is a terrible eater, said Mother Goat. We've offered him the best shoes, boxes, magazines, tin cans, coats, pants. But all he wants are fruits, vegetables, eggs, fish, orange juice, and other horrible things. What do you have to say about all of this, Gregory? asked Dr. Ram. I want what I like, said Gregory. Makes sense, said Dr. Ram. He turned to Mother and Father Goat. I've treated picky eaters before, he said. They have to develop a taste for good food slowly. Try giving Gregory one new food each day until he eats everything. That night for dinner, Mother Goat gave Gregory spaghetti and a shoelace in tomato sauce. Not too bad, said Gregory. The next day, she gave him string beans and a rubber heel cut into small pieces. The meal was good and rubbery, said Gregory. The day after that, Mother Goat said, we have your favorite today, vegetable soup. But there is one condition, you have to eat the can. Okay, said Gregory, what's for dessert? Ice cream, said Father Goat, but you have to eat the box too. Yummy, said Gregory. I'm proud of you, said Father Goat. You're beginning to eat like a goat. I'm learning to like everything, said Gregory. One evening, Father Goat asked, Has anyone seen my striped necktie? Not since breakfast, said Mother Goat. Come to think of it, I haven't seen my sewing basket today. I left it in the living room after supper last night. Father Goat turned to Gregory. Gregory, have you been eating between meals? Yes, said Gregory. I can't help it. Now I like everything. Well, said Mother Goat, it's all right to eat like a goat but you shouldn't eat like a pig. <laughs> oh, said Gregory. After Gregory went to bed, Mother Goat said, I'm afraid Gregory will eat my clothes hamper. Yes, and then my toolkit will be next, said Father Goat. He's eating too much. We'll have to do something about it. Whoa, look at all those things. <laughs> the next evening, just before supper, Mother and Father Goat went to the town dump. So many things there. They brought home eight flat tires, a three-foot piece of barber pole, a broken violin, and a half a car. They piled everything in front of Gregory's sandbox. When Gregory, when Gregory came home for supper, he said, What's all that stuff in the yard? Your supper, said Father Goat. It all looks good, said Gregory. Gregory ate the tires and the violin. Then he slowly ate the barber pole. But when he started in on the car, he said, I've got a stomach ache. I have to lie down. Gregory went to his room. I think Gregory ate too much junk, said Father Goat. 
Let's hope so, said Mother Goat. All night, Gregory tossed and twisted and moaned and groaned. The next morning, he went down for breakfast. What would you like for breakfast today, Gregory? asked Father Goat. Scrambled eggs and two pieces of wax paper and a glass of orange juice, said Gregory. That sounds just about right, said Mother Goat. And it was. So it was a wonderful job reading this story with me today. Like I mentioned earlier, we are going to keep this book in our brains and continue reading it tomorrow. We'll actually read it again, and we'll start to fill out the S-T-O-R-Y chart for setting and talking characters. So I can't wait to see who already has some answers ready for me tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.